Now there's another really great story developing here. It's long been rumored that IndyCar star John Andretti would drive baseball star Jack Clark's Taco Bell top fuel car. They debuted here, qualified well, and in round number one, it was two Italian race car drivers from Pennsylvania, and the result might surprise you. John Andretti didn't know if he won or not. You certainly did in your first ever contest to take out the five-time champ. He's not pleased. Well, I mean, I, I didn't know if I won or not because I didn't see him, but, you know, you never know. I was just happy that I got down there, and, you know, I'm, I'm just really pleased. I mean, the Taco Bell crew has done a great job, so I'm really pleased. They really have. And Joe Amato, he told you last night that he w had a hard time staying in his own lane in IndyCar racing. Yeah, I was worrying about him coming over and trying to squeeze me a little bit. That's what he said. If I was ahead of him, he was going to try and squeeze me out. Good addition to the sport, though. Yeah, I think so. Welcome aboard. Glad to have you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And boy, does Joe Amato handle defeat well. That's a class act. Thank you, Bob Fry. And there are the eyes of John Andretti. And Brock Gates, anyone that can come down the front straight at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway at about 230 miles an hour and turn left ought to be able to drive about anything. You know, Steve, a long time ago, uh, Roger Ward, who won the Indianapolis 500 twice, told me the mark of a race driver was the ability to handle surpluses of horsepower. And if you want surpluses of horsepower, this is a place to find it. All right, if you want tough competition, it's the Mopar Express Loop Car of Tommy Johnson, Jr. Andretti qualified only number 12, but let's remember this was his debut performance. He came in here actually, though, with about 40 runs under his belt. Jack Clark took Tim Farrell, that young man, the crew chief, and this whole team to Dallas Motorplex, the Texas Motorplex in Dallas, and they burned up drum after drum of nitromethane. Expensive, but it got everybody purposeful. It got the crew working together. John got comfortable doing burnouts and launches, and boy, it's paid big dividends. Here he is again in round number two up against Tommy Johnson, Jr. From Indianapolis, Indiana, he won the Surfers Paradise Race in Australia two years ago in his IndyCar and hopes to win here in Atlanta. Tommy Johnson, Jr. has been runner-up in the Mopar Express Loop Car, but is yet to win his first big race. Consistently in the fours, he is tickling 300 miles an hour. So is Andretti, for that matter. They sure are. Both these young men have run very, very well in qualifying. And uh, Tommy Johnson, Jr., as you said, is absolutely due for a major victory. There's Andretti pulling ahead on the far side. Andretti driving away as Tommy Johnson Jr. falls way off his earlier performances to only a 5'11". Andretti 492 with a big speed, 298 miles an hour. Bob Fry is with coroner Jack Clark back at the starting line. Hey, Jack, this is some way to start out the top fuel program, huh? Yeah, we're very excited for the Taco Bell and Taco Bell Express top fuel drags. I mean, it's an exciting day, our first time out. The crews performed uh, tremendous. The driver, I mean, I'm just going to be thrilled with the way everybody's uh, got the job done today. Driver's owning his big bucks today. Big win for Jack Clark and the Taco Bell gang. John Andretti said, did I win? Did I win? Yeah, you won everything but the starting line war. He got you by a couple of hundreds, and you drilled him with a 492, 298. <laughs> well, you know, the, the car's running great. It's making up for, I guess, my mistakes. Um, I that wasn't a mistake. He leaves out everybody. Well, you know, I, I need to pick it up a bit if I'm going to make it to the semifinals or the finals. But, I mean, I'm a stack that we're making it this far. I mean, the Taco Bell team is just doing a great job, and we'll just keep plugging along until... We have to go home. You know, your cousin Michael having a tough year overseas. If he hears you win your first ever drag race, he's going to go nuts. Well, you know, he'll be happy for me, and <laughs> he'll win a Formula One race this year yet, too. I know he will. We all hope he does. Thanks. Let's get this family tree straight. Uh, Uncle Mario, that's Michael's dad, uh, Aldo is Mario's fraternal twin brother, and that is John's father. How about that? Does that make sense? Okay, here we go into top fuel. This is the semifinal round, and what a story we've got going here with John Andretti, Brock Yates. Unbelievable, Steve. He still has lane choice over Mike Dunn, uh, and the kid has just amazed everybody here with his ability to handle this horsepower. Of course, that really is, in a lot of ways, the essence of race driving, the ability to handle surplus horsepower. You sure have it on a top fuel car. That's right, and there is John Andretti. That car was built for a much bigger driver, and he looks like a midget sitting down inside there. John Andretti, driving for baseball star Jack Clark, just walking through the picture there, had, until this weekend, never raced in a straight line. Mike Dunn has never not raced in a straight line. <laughs> well, don't forget, though, they did a lot of testing down in Texas, and uh, a lot of starts, a lot of half-track passes, and then some full passes, and the more Jack Clark and their crew worked with... Uh, John, the more they felt that he really was ready to go racing without a whole lot of uh, 
uh, kind of preliminary. That's right. John Andretti had more seat time as a beginning drag racer than anybody I've ever heard of. And it cost a lot of money to do that. All right, they're off the mark. Mike Dunn, John Andretti. Andretti had the big top end power, but it wasn't quite enough. Mike Dunn stops this Cinderella story in the semifinal round with a 495 at 280 miles an hour. And I'm telling you, Andretti was coming. Let's go to Bob Fry on the starting line. Well, if a 495 and winning a race like that can't bring a smile to your face, I don't know what will, Darrell. Well, I appreciate that. You know, we've worked awful hard. And Jim we we uh, We're doing a good job today, and i got to take my hats off to the whole crew and uh, just ran good enough to win. That's hopefully what we're going to do in the final. They're going to be in the finals, and they'll look like line drives in the box score. Let's take another look at that. Uh, it was Mike Dunn with better reaction time, and that seemed to make the difference here, as you see Dunn in the near lane. Launched really well. John Andretti, not all that bad, but it was Dunn who had the lead most of the way. But then Andretti with the big top-end charge, as Steve said, runs 294, but that's not enough to move him on. Now you can say you beat an Andretti. Well, that's something. I mean, uh, and the first guy to beat it, Andretti, he's done a real good job. I tell you, Jack Clark put together a real good team, and they, they can't be uh, ashamed of what they did this year. But we're just happy to have this La Victoria McGuire special in the top uh, fuel final. Do you like to have lane choice? You have a 495 going for you. Well, uh, it doesn't really matter. I think both lanes are pretty even. You know, we, we wanted to run a little bit better than that, but we were a little leery of that left lane and that bump out in the middle. So I think we can get after it a little bit on the next run, no matter which, you know, which lane we got. Nice job. Thank you. A.J. Boyd once said, drivers drive cars, and you drove the heck out of this drag stick. Uh, I'm really pleased. Um, you know, Taco Bell, Jack Clark car just ran wonderful. The guys did a great job. Um, you know, it's dry every time it comes down here, and, um, you know, I can't ask for anything more. Um, you know, obviously, we'd love to be in the finals, but, um, you know, it just gets tougher after every round. I hope you had as much fun doing it as we did watching. Well, I had a ball doing it. I wish I was around one more time, though. Hey, they get greedy even at their first race.